Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, I am back. I am. I'm really sorry. I was not able to um, make as much as videos I should have been because of some health issues and some other work-related things, which which kind of uh, prevented me from coming to my channel, which I love. And now I promise I will be doing it more. Today we are out here with our truck with the ARB awning on it, and uh, I will just show you a brief demo how to. Uh, how to use it and um, there is another video which I will post the link in the description how to install it on the Prinzu rack on, on Tacoma um, that is very very informative video about how even you can lock uh, the awning on your truck which I have locked on this truck I will show you in a bit let's have a look the awning comes uh, wrapped into a very durable uh, uh, strong uh, cover and uh, the zipper is also very durable and strong uh, I guess you need to keep it lubricated because sometimes I feel like it starts to get stuck when it is too dry and I keep the guy wires and uh, the stakes uh, uh, attached to the awning inside uh, with the velcro strap which holds the awning because you don't want to leave uh, or forget that at home Undo the both velcro straps, uh, slowly move uh, the awning upwards behind its frame. Extension arms um, should be extended outwards and don't let them too far um, unless you have someone to push those in back when you are pulling out the awning. Now it's time to extend the awning outwards. It's about 8 feet as you know it is 2500 millimeters. That's how they put it. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> you need to do the calculation how many how many inches it is. So, once it is all extended out, uh, the legs come out from uh, the outer edge of uh, the awning. Uh, those legs are pretty uh, well built, and they are like shower curtain, like you twist and turn to make it loose and tight. Once uh, the legs are set up, and then now it's time to pull in the arm and uh, fit into the uh, outer frame uh, of the awning. In inside of the frame has a hole where it fits in, and then um, twist it to make it tight. And uh, it has to be done on both hands with the other arm. Here we go. It's all set now. The Velcro straps on the sides. Uh, they just go around the arms and uh, they make it very snug and uh, fit. It needs to be done on the both hands to make it uh, sturdy unless it's, uh, it's some kind of weather condition that you need to have one thing loose. I will show you in a little bit. Now is the time to adjust the uh, leg height and uh, tighten them. As you see I am uh, five feet nine inches tall and when I walk under the awning I still have a uh, room above my head which is good I have this side lower uh, just to demo that um, like I live in rain country so we are on the west coast we we face a lot of rain here so it's a good idea to have one side lower so the water kind of rolls off the awning you have your stakes and uh, guy wires installed when uh, when it's raining or windy so that you don't uh, damage your awning if you're outdoors person this is must-have thing uh, I have it from uh, from a year now and um, I used it on my trip all the way to the Arctic Ocean it was last summer and it was an awesome trip and if you want to follow that trip as well I am going to post a few links in the description below so that you can uh, follow us on our Arctic trip as well hey do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell along it because we need your subscription to keep ourselves motivated thank you so much for watching see you next time